Hello everyone and welcome to our English class. Today we have revision 2. Two, enough and full infinitive. We are going to revise the vocabulary and structures covered in model 9. Okay, first of all, go to your student book page 138. There you will find all the vocabulary of model 9. Look here. Guys, there is an abbreviation in front of each word. What does that mean? When we have V in front of the word, it means it is a verb. For example, recycle, save, and try. What about this? When we have P, H, R, and V, that means it is a phrasal verb. A verb followed by a proposition, for example, take part. This is a phrasal verb. When we have N in front of the word, it means it is a noun. For example, tab, paper, and plastic. When we have P, it's R, means it is a phrase. For example, pick up rubbish. And finally, ADJ means it is an adjective. For example, warm, wooden, cool, excellent. Now let's practice. Match the word to its meaning. You can stop the video and do the task. Okay. Now let's check your answers. 1. Float. What does it mean? It means D. To make something dirty. Very good. 2. Forgive. A. To stop feeling angry at someone. Excellent. 3. Try. E. To make an attempt to do something. Excellent. Number 4. Office. C. A room used for work. And five, take part. B, to join an activity. A good job. Let's move on to the next activity. Fill in the blanks with the words from the box. Here you have five words. Cool, recycle, environment, seed, company, and energy. You can stop the video and do the task. Excellent. Now let's check your answers. 1. A good way of saving the environment is to space old materials. Is to recycle old materials. Number 2. You should remove the space from inside the apple. You shouldn't eat them. You should remove the seeds. Excellent. Number three, I will have a big space when I grow up. I will have a big company, a good work. Number four, it is raining all day. It will be a space day. It will be a cool day. Perfect. And last one, number five, it is our responsibility to save the space from pollution, to save the environment great let's move to the second exercise this structure was covered in model 9 song part 2 I think you still remember we used to plus adjective for example I don't want to visit the South Pole it is too cold we also used to plus adjective plus to verb when we talk about something we cannot do for example, the birds are too young to find food. We use enough plus noun. For example, there is enough time we can walk. We use adjective plus enough. For example, the weather is warm enough. Let's go for a picnic. And we use adjective plus enough plus to plus the verb when we talk about something we can do. My dad is strong enough to carry the heavy bags. 
Here is the grammar reference from your student book. These children are on a picnic. Look at what they are saying. There are enough cans of beans for everyone. Enough before the noun. The soup is too hot. Two plus adjective. Yes, it is too hot to eat now. Two plus adjective. I'm not hungry enough to eat now. Hungry. Adjective plus enough plus two plus verb. Now it is time to practice two and enough. You have five questions, guys. Choose the correct answer. You can stop the video and do it. Okay, let's check your answers. One, the coffee was space to drink, so I left it for a minute to cool. The coffee was too hot to drink. Great. Number two, the room wasn't space, so I turned on the AC. The room wasn't cold enough. Fantastic. Number three, it is space to fit inside the bag. It is too big to fit inside the bag. Great. Number four, we are space to play football now. We are too tired. Excellent. Number five, she doesn't have space to buy a gift for her friend. She doesn't have enough money. Excellent. Let's have another exercise. Look at the pictures and write use to or enough. You can stop the video and do this exercise. Okay, now let's see your answers. One, the girl is too young to ride the roller coaster. Two, the food is too hot to eat. Three, the goat is not tall enough to reach the top of the tree. Excellent. And four, the boy isn't fast enough to win the race. A good job. We have another structure in model nine, full infinitive to verb. We use want, would like, hope, decide, and promise plus full infinitive. For example, I want, I would like, I hope, to go to the shopping center today. See, we used to go after them. I decided, I promised to do my homework today. Also, we use it's plus adjective plus full infinitive. For example, it's easy to send an email. Let's practice. Read and underline the correct answer. You can stop the video and take your time. Okay, let's see your answers. Number one, I promised visit or to visit my grandmother next Saturday. To visit, excellent. Number two, I would like to protect or protect the environment. I'd like to protect, excellent. Number three, we decided recycle or to recycle everything at home. To recycle, good. Four, I hope to meet or meet you next Friday. To meet you next Friday. Excellent. Last one. I want to play or playing chess with you. I want to play. A good job. Let's have one more exercise. Look, complete the sentences with your own idea. You have the keywords. I promise to, I want to, I hope to, and I decided to. You can stop the video and do this exercise. Okay, let's see your answers, or let's have a look at some suggested answers. I promised to help my mom in the kitchen. I want to eat some pizza. I hope to go back to school soon. I decided to buy a new car. What do you see here, guys? The words with red are the infinitive verb. We used to plus the verb. To help, 
to eat, to go, and to buy. This is the end of our class today. For your daily assessment, please log into Teams and answer the task Revision 2, Two Enough, and Full Infinitive. Remember to do your daily assessment within 24 hours. Good luck and see you soon.